Hot debrief is very much in the moment. So you might have a, um, a, a full debrief would where, for instance, at a morbidity and mortality meeting, you'd sit down and you'd go over a whole bundle of things in quite a bit of detail. But you can't always do that at the end of a busy day or even a, a particular, say, surgical procedure where um, you'll be tired, you may not be thinking straight, uh, you might be stressed if, if some harm God forbid, has happened, then uh, it's quite difficult to digest and talk about it unemotionally. Often our emotions get in the way. But a, a hot debrief and what we suggest is the format of, can you tell us, you know, what's one thing we did well as a team? And then what's one thing we could do more of? And what's one thing we could do less of? But the, the language is really important, the could, because as soon as you get into you should or you ought, I can't help it, the finger starts to go and now you're starting to be quite critical and people get very defensive with that kind of language. Whereas could leaves it open for other people, other members of the team to sort of accept it, to, to recognise it, to take it on board and to, to deal with it effectively.